The following program has been generously funded by the Patterson Foundation. This book is cool. Welcome, my friends, to This Book is Cool. My name is Beth Duda, and I'm the director of the Suncoast Campaign for Grade Level Reading. Today, our book is called Pop, a book about bubbles. Do you like to blow bubbles? I sure do. We have a special guest with us today to talk to us about why she thinks this book is cool. With us today, we have Police Chief Bernadette DePino. Hello, Bernadette, how are you? Hi, thank you so much for having me here. I am delighted to have you here today and really excited that we're talking about a book about bubbles because it's one of my favorite things. Can you tell us why you think this book is cool? This book is so cool because it shows people blowing bubbles. And how cool is that? They look like they're having so much fun. And so many different kinds of bubbles. There are big bubbles and little bubbles. Oh. and. Yes, there's big bubbles, there's little bubbles. Some of the bubbles are so big that a person could even fit inside of them. I've seen that a couple of times and it's really fascinating how people have engineered the, the bubble stuff to be strong enough to make a bubble around a, a person. And the book also has some interesting facts about bubbles. It's just not, you know, bubble beauty. There are also some kind of scientific facts in the book. Can you think of one of the things that, that you learned from the book that was surprising to you? Yes, yes. Even though the bubbles, you seem they go on their own, you don't touch it, they still pop. The air around it, it dries it out and it causes it to make a big pop sound. Yes, and I didn't realize that. I, I think I, sometimes when I see bubbles float up into the sky, I've just imagined that they just keep floating, but I learned that's not true. They do pop. And Bubbles in the sky aren't the only bubbles that the book is about. We also saw bubbles in a few other places. And I thought this was fascinating in soda. And they start out small at the bottom and then they grow big until they pop. And I didn't realize that. And But I, as soon as I read that in the book, I did look to make sure that that was true. And it is. They do start as little teeny tiny bubbles at the bottom and the bubbles grow in size as they float their way to the top. And yes. I was also interested about the shape of bubbles. Right. I thought it was fascinating because all the bubbles I've ever seen are round and bubbles are all round. You can't make a square bubble. It's really interesting the the science behind bubbles. I, I've always thought of playing with bubbles or playing with bubble stuff as just being a fun activity. But this book helped me realize that there's also some pretty solid science behind it. Yes, I agree. They're so much fun. Bubbles are cool. I remember blowing bubbles growing up, and I even like it doing it as an adult, too. <laughs> well, can you share with us why you think it's so important for people to read throughout the summer? It's so important to read because you learn about so many different people and places and things, and it'll help you make all of your dreams come true. It'll take you to adventures in places you may never get a chance to visit, or it'll help you want to go visit those places. And every successful person that I know, they read and they learn, and it will help you be whatever you want to be when you grow up. Well, that's great advice. I want to thank you for taking time today to be with us. We've certainly enjoyed it, and I know that you are very busy. Being a police chief is a huge job, so we are honored that you would take time from your day to help us and, and encourage our children to read. No, thank you so much for having me, and I just a message for all of the children that are out there. We're here to keep you safe. We promise we'll be there when you need us. We care about you, and I ask everybody to please be safe. It was wonderful to talk to Chief Bernadette Pino about bubbles. I loved it when she said that she enjoyed blowing bubbles when she was a child and still enjoys it even now. 
This book is a great book to read with your family or your friends and be inspired to go outside and blow a few bubbles. Our author has also included some wonderful words for our word bank. The first word is the word shimmers. Shimmers, that means to shine with a soft light. The next word for our word bank is the word stretch. Stretch, that means to be capable of becoming longer or wider without tearing or breaking apart, to stretch. The next word for our word bank is the word shrink. Shrink, that means to become or to make smaller in size or amount, to contract or to cause something to contract, to shrink. Our next word for our word bank is the word direction. Direction. Direction is the course in which someone or something moves. Direction. And our final word for the word bank today is the word floating. That means to be suspended in water or suspended in air. Floating. Can you guess what our activity is today? <laughs> You're right. I think we have to blow some bubbles. So here in the book, we have, can see pictures of bubbles. So this book uses photography to illustrate the book instead of perhaps drawing pictures. So I'm going to see if I can blow a picture-worthy bubble. We'll try it and see what happens. So here I have some bubble solution. And bubble solution is made by mixing liquid soap and water and sometimes other ingredients. You can make your own bubble solution at home or, you probably already know this, you can usually find bubble solution in the dollar store. And then you need something that the bubble solution can make a film over. So I'm gonna try this big white straw. So I'm gonna put it in, and I hope this is gonna work. <gasps> that was a pretty good bubble. Let me try another one. Guys, I stretched that one a little bit too much. We'll try one more with this one. That's pretty. And then I wonder if the bubble will be bigger or smaller if I use a smaller straw. That's a good scientific experiment. It appears the answer is smaller. Oops. <laughs> oh, look. I caught a bubble. Well, I do enjoy playing with bubbles, and I hope it's something that you enjoy as well. If you do blow some bubbles, we would love for you to share a picture with us. Send it to connect at gradelevelreadingsuncoast.net. And if you're looking for other activities that you can enjoy, I highly recommend reading. Remember, reading is the key to succeeding. It's been great fun to be with you today, my friends. I hope we see you again very soon. Bye now. <laughs>